What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Link to the Past. Let's see if we can't find out how the heck we're supposed to get through this place. Hey, look, there's a bomb crack in the wall. That's usually a sign that we should hit it. Whoa, how do we get over there? I want to get over there. There's rupees over there. Oh, well, presumably that's not the right course of action. But we should hit this crystal switch so that we can go over here. What's with all these things falling from the ceiling? Stay away from me! I guess if you really want it, you could just sit here and kill these things all day and get hearts out of it. Let's just hit that switch, just because it's probably there in order to be hit. And run away from the fire stick. I wonder. Okay, that's the bad kind of hole. Let's go through the door with the eye on it. And here we have boss time. This is a giant eyeball with a whole bunch of little eyeballs. This guy is a pretty simple boss, too, really. You just smack the eyeballs around and try not to get hit by lightning. Usually, uh, it uses the lightning at a fairly constant, you know, every so often. Usually you can dodge it just by staying kind of far to one of the left or right sides of the room. You can tell when he's about to use the lightning when he uh, kind of sticks the eyeball out of the goo. That was close. Well, you can go up there, but it hurts you. Come on. Give me eyeballs to kill. Give me eyeballs to kill! Oh, that works. Come on, die already. That was easy. And we get another heart. Just like every other dungeon in the world. We save another princess from the crystal, and we really don't care what she has to say. Now that we're done with this dungeon, there's a couple things we want to go do. But first, we want to get back to the light world. Because in the Misery Mire, we're kind of trapped there in that section of the Dark World. The only way to really get out of there is to... Uh, get out of there in the Light World. And what I want to do is... I want to head back to the Bomb Shop, which is kind of where Link's house is, but in the Dark World. And this right here happens to be the closest warp point to that area. So do our warpy thing. And just kind of head over here. And the reason we want to come back here is after finishing the sixth 
dungeon? We can buy this. The Super Bomb. And unlike normal bombs, it kind of follows you around. Now, don't jump off a ledge. Don't press the A button. So, no dashing. That's the wrong way. I want to go this way. There's a very specific place that we want to take this thing. Specifically, we want to head towards the Pyramid of Power. So tempted to just dash, but I can't. Luckily, it doesn't care if you get hurt. So, up here, and we want to put the bomb right there, and get the heck out of here. Hey, we can actually bomb that crack with the super bomb. So let's go in here. Uh, okay. Let's throw our bow. Whoa. You're a bit bigger than the normal fairies. But, she gives us the Silver Arrows. The only real difference the Silver Arrows have is that uh, you need them to kill Ganon. But there's a few other things we can get out of this. Where is it? We can throw our sword. Why, yes, I did drop that. And we get the level 4 sword. Which is, like, gold. The most powerful sword in the game. Uh, no, I don't, actually. That's all we can get from this stuff. And now that we've done that, there's couple other things that I want to do before heading towards the next dungeon. Wow, this thing's powerful. Uh, namely, I have two more pieces of heart that I've kind of missed along the way. So I want to get those. Uh, so I first need to go to the village of outcasts, which is the Kakariko Village equivalent. So let's see what's the fastest way there. I guess I should probably warp. And then fly. And then come up here and warp again. Now, specifically, the place where I want to go in here is to the southern screen. down here and this isn't the place I was looking for this is the wrong game okay um, maybe it's somewhere else let's see is it around here somewhere aha here it is This is the treasure chest game. 30 rupees to play, and one of these chests will randomly have a piece of heart in it. So 
So, uh, well, let's try and get that. Hopefully I can actually get some rupees and not useless stuff. There we go, that's 100 rupees. That should at least let me uh, play a little longer. As far as I know, it doesn't really matter which chests you open, it's just pretty much completely random. You just gotta try over and over again until you get it right. There we go. That's the piece of heart. Okay, now that we've got that done, there's only one last piece of heart to get but we can't actually get it just yet. So what I want to do now is we've got to head off to the final dungeon, Turtle Rock, which I uh, showed you earlier. But before I do that, I have only one thing of medicine left. So I want to go make some rupees and fill up my stock of medicine and then head to Turtle Rock. So I am going to get the necessary rupees, and I will get the medicine, and I will be right back. Okay, so I finished off getting the uh, potion. It took me maybe like four or five minutes to get the rupees I needed, if that. And so now, to get to Turtle Rock, I'll just show you again, just for ease. You just got to warp back up to... actually... I thought there might have been something I was missing. Uh, never mind. Uh, you just gotta warp up to the top of Death Mountain. Or I guess it's technically the bottom of Death Mountain. And you gotta climb all the way up because we've never ever done this before. Stupid Tech Teddy's always jumping away from me. So same as ever head up here, use the magic mirror here. And you head to the east of the Tower of Hera. And when we get to this screen, we have to hopefully not get hurt, hurt by these stupid little things. We gotta pound the stakes in the this order, the right, the top, and then the left. Step on the warp thing that appears. Use the quake medallion on this little pedestal here. And that opens up Turtle Rock, the seventh dungeon in the Dark World. And with that, I'm going to leave it here for today. What awaits us inside Turtle Rock? Find out next time on Let's Play Link to the Past. Catch you later.